Hey everybody, I'm Krista with The Big Family Homestead and today I'm gonna show you how to make a super simple wrap skirt. This is what a wrap skirt looks like. So to make this skirt, you need a few things. You need a bit of sewing knowledge, not a lot. You need some uh, material, tape measure, some scissors, a straight edge, and a sewing machine. And again, a little bit of math and a little bit of sewing knowledge. Now to determine how much material you're going to need, you need to do a tiny bit of math. You need to measure the person you're going to make the skirt for. So if it's you, you're going to measure your waist and then you're going to multiply that number by 1.5 and that's gonna get your length. Then you're going to get the length of the skirt that you would like, if you would like it 24 inches, 36 inches, depending on the length you would like it. Then you're gonna take your waist measurement, multiply that by 1.5, that again, it gets your length. You're then gonna take your length and divide by six and that's how many panels you'll need. So however much that length is, that's how much you'll, your material you'll need. Okay, so for our example, our daughter Grace is the one I'm making our skirt, the skirt for. Her waist is 32 inches. I'm going to multiply this by 1.5, which equals 48 inches. Oops. Now, I will take this and divide by six, the amount of panels that we're going to make, which equals eight. Now, this number is the top width of our skirt. Not eight, what am I doing? Eight inches. <laughs> then we're going to make a trapezoid shape. And the bottom width, we're gonna add 10 inches to so that we can have that flare. Okay, so now this picture right here is a representation of one of the six panels that we're going to make to make this wrap skirt. Okay, so now to cut out our pieces for our skirt, um, we're gonna go ahead and measure and then mark our piece, our first piece, and we'll use that first piece as the template for the rest of the pieces. So our bottom width of our skirt panel is 18 inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure 18 inches here, and then I'm going to go in five inches on either side because I know that it's 10 inches longer, so I need five inches on one side and five inches on the other side. And I'm gonna mark this with my little chalk pencil here. It doesn't matter what pencil or what, what material you use to mark it, just a little mark is perfect. Then I'm gonna go down to the other end and mark my 18 inch width right down here. And then I take my straight edge from one point, one chalk point to the other chalk point and I'm going to draw a light line. And I'll do the same over here. So if you can see our lines right here, and this is what we're gonna cut out. Now this is one of our six panels. Now I'm gonna take this one and I'm going to invert it on top of the next piece of material or the rest of material. So that way I already have my one straight edge here. I don't have to cut anything. Nothing is going to waste, just like so. Straighten that out and then I'm gonna cut along this edge like this and I'm gonna repeat this till I have all six panels. Now, this next step is not 
necessary because you can use your regular sewing machine to do this a very similar edge. What this is, this is a serger, and this is a Singer Tiny Serger. I love this thing. Um, and all it's gonna do is put a professional edge on the edge of your material and keep it from fraying. That's the important part, is to prevent it from fraying. Now, if you, have, if you use your sewing machine, just put it on a zigzag and it will do the same thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this serger and I'm going to put a, a threading around the edge of this. It's a, it's a professional looking edging, okay? And it doesn't allow your material to fray when you wash and dry it. Now see what this is doing here? putting this really nice edge on here. And I'm gonna do this on all of the cut edges of this material until I'm done, all of the panels. Okay, now one quick word on this line, this edging on this particular type of material. Um, this won't be shown. I know it looks funky now, but this is gonna be hemmed and it won't be shown in any way. Okay, now that we have all of the edges taken care of on our panels, we're gonna go ahead and put the right side together, the outside of the skirt together, like this, in two panel sections, and we're gonna sew just one edge, okay? And I'm gonna sew about a half an inch in from this edge here. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and begin sewing. Oh, I need my foot pedal. So panel one and panel two are now sewn together. Now what I'm gonna do is take three, the third panel and match it up with the top edge of this panel and we're gonna sew these right sides together. panel until you have all of the panels sewn together. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hem the edge here and the bottom edge. And all I do is I simply fold it over just a little bit and sew that down. To clarify, you're not going to sew this into a big circle. You're going to leave it open just like this. Here's what we have so far. Now we're going to make the belt so that it will hold it all together. I'm going to take our extra piece of material that I cut this from and I'm going to just eyeball it. At first, um, what you want is you want a belt that's at least as long as your skirt here, and then you want it at least 20 to 25 inches extra on each end. So I eyeball it at first just to see how long it's gonna be. And then I also want it about four inches wide because we're gonna have to do some folding and, and then sewing. So it makes a nice thick belt on there. Okay, so we have our length in the middle and then we have our edges are about 22 inches on either side. Now all I'm gonna do is, I know it's the full length of here, so I'm gonna take it and cut about four inches off the length of this piece of material here. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and cut a four inch piece. I have this lined up with the 54 inch mark, so I'm gonna eyeball cutting on the 50 inch here. And this will be our belt. Now I'm going to serge all of the edges of this belt before we attach it to our skirt. Now remember, you can go ahead and do this with your sewing machine with the zigzag stitch if you like. I just happen to have a serger. Okay, so now our edges are all serged and I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to the belt. Well, what I need 
No, I'm gonna attach it to the skirt. But what I need to do is make sure that I have it even ends, um, so about 22 inches on either end, so that way it's not, you know, it'll have a short end on one side, a really long end on the other side, you, then you can't tie it. And we're gonna attach this right sides together. Now to keep this in place so that I don't lose my spot, I'm going to go ahead and pin it in the middle. Now we're going to go ahead and sew our edges together. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this to where it's even with our the top of our skirt here so that it's nice and even and a nice fold here all the way to the end. And then we're gonna go ahead and sew that on both sides, of course. Okay, that part is all done. Now we're gonna go ahead and take this upper edge here. We're gonna fold it over just a little bit and then fold it over again. That way it's nice and pretty edge and in line with our first stitch here. And we're gonna go ahead and stitch that from the other side. Now for the very last step, I'm going to go ahead and make a stitch all the way along this top edge so that it makes a nice, uh, smooth belt. As you can see, super cute skirt, easy to make, quick and easy, doesn't take a lot of time, doesn't take a lot of money or knowledge on sewing. Um, I'm Krista with the Big Family Homestead and you have an amazing day.